The stock market crash of 1929 and the resulting Great Depression were especially hard on the United States. Uh, despite attempt to renovation the economy, President Herbert Hoover signed the 1940 Act, Smooth Harford Tariff Act, that raised the custom duty taxes, extending import goods to be unaffordable only to the wealthiest Americans. Instead of spurring domestic purchases of the production intended to smooth the Harley and the Harley way, further damaging the world economy. As nation passed relatively tariffs of American exports, international trade premiered to 65%, leading to the full collapse of banks in America and Europe as world economy only increases its tailspin. Franklin D. Roosevelt, of the president in 1933, he immediately implemented a New Deal program to strengthen American economy and to get people back to work, resulting in American banks and further influence of the pending social media company of the program to provide income to disabled elderly and brought the thousands of federations of payrolls through public uh, program worth of countless effectiveness of the Roosevelt's New Deal had paled to those of joining the Second World War. With the sleeping giant awakened, the United States saw the technician shift of the economy, the activity drafted between industries, sector mastering demanding new laborers, produced more material, and unemployed promoted women also stepped into taking jobs that distantly reserved for men. The government contracts invest and spurred the growth, and the American economy roared back the life of 1945. Arguably, dropping the atomic bomb on Hiroshima of Nagasaki marked a new chapter of American history in isolationism and the old nuclear holocaust of the Second World War of the United States, the Allied country emerged, the economic not intact but thrilling, as government who was ended, and beside withdrawn private investments, took their consumers were purchasing goods of appliances that had taken long enough for the economic to reach to use their powers spur and more spending. The traditionally economic consumer was the bedrock of American post-war Premier League. Impossible without influx and the men aging from war start their new lives in this renovated country. Reunited gas stepped down of their boats and planes and trains to find America totally one they have left. Many remembered the mistreatments of their fathers and grandfathers, have endured the First World War, that they have been pity bonus of the train far from home. But then, different this time, the Geo Bill of Rights was signed by the law of the President Roosevelt in 1944 and promised marriage benefit and returned veterans from guaranteeing home loans and the universal and the educational between 1944 and 1956. 7.8 million veterans went to college or trade school. Of the billing aside, 2.4 million loans were granted by the Veteran Administration. These loans were used to buy houses in the nearly built suburbs of the new single-family homes, drew the city into the new development, this is start of American car culture, and the suburban population began more, more new homes, nor new jobs from the city, and new highway systems that were good for America, but many excluded of the newfound property. Black veterans faced a brand new war on their home front. First was battling obtained benefits of the key promises of the original law passing of the condition aid administrated by the government. Radical federal agency men, Sergeant Crim Joan, overshadowed promises of the jail bill 
that was confiscated on the skin. In separate and equal schools, war was set free of the black and white, of the failures, of the majority of the system had inspired anger into the black population and black unemployment and also that epidemic throughout 1950s and 1960s work out not available only paying the smallest wages but offering no chance of up mobility america's women found themselves in a battle of their own hired those filled factories of the provided support of the armed services in the mine of many of the end of the war meant the end Rosie and the Ravi had laid off their wartime jobs for returning to servicemen and kept on payroll. They were placed on critical jobs, no union protection though. The women in uniform had declined the jail bill benefits outright of the magazine, saying they can handle themselves, and that is settled down of homeland makers.